Science feels in motion. Here they come. And there they go, quick off the gate, by a length, right out the challenge, hot rum for the early lead, also on the move is Peruvian Hanover. Corporate Reader comes away in fourth, taking a seat as Ludwig Pan Beethoven. He's followed by the Aussie fighter, and we come back to Sweet Basil, Joey Zaza, and CPW. Sprint around the first turn and head toward the opening quarter, by a length and high gear, he opens it up by four and off stride, there was hot rum. Taking over the second spot along the inside, Peruvian Hanover opening quarter in a blistering 26 and 3. By a length in Cat Manzi, they've got the lead. It's a half a dozen. Peruvian Hanover tries to cut into the margin second. Along the inside, Corporate Raider is third. He's followed by Ludwig Pan Beethoven, the Aussie fighter and Ranger underway. Sweet Basil grabs his cover. Two back to Joey Zaza, ZPW, and back pacing at the end, Hot Rum. They sprint toward the half mile station. By a length in a world of his own, he's got the lead five. Peruvian Hanover his second halfway home in 55 and 1. By a length, leads him down the back stretch, but the lead is only two. Peruvian Hanover starts to gain ground in second, still grinding away uncovered as the Aussie fighter. Through the inside is Corporate Raider. At the pylons, Ludwig Pan Beethoven. Gapping cover is Sweet Basil. On the outside, Joey Zaza, CPW, and Hot Rum. By five eights and head toward three quarters on the outside. Peruvian Hanover with a backstretch brush takes over the lead. The Aussie fighter on the attack second. Three quarters, one, 22 and two. Third quarter, 27 and one. Paddock turns final time. Peruvian Hanover along the inside. Here comes the Aussie fighter. On the far outside, Corporate Raider. Less than an eighth of a mile to pace. They're on their way home in the aisle final. Along the inside, Peruvian Hanover. On the outside, the Aussie fighter. On the far outside, Corporate Raider. The Aussie fighter, the inside. Corporate Raider, the outside. Corporate Raider to win the final. 151 flat. Unofficial winner of the 5th Annual Isle of Capri Pacing Series, final number two, Corporate Raider. A five-year-old Michigan bred son by Keystone Raider from the Lantad Hanover Mare Tendon to Business. Owned by Daniel and Thomas Cordemash of Pinkening, Michigan. Trained by Shane Paul out of the Peter Wren Stable and driven a victory by Peter Wren. The time for the mile, 151 flat, a career best for Corporate Raider. That is the second fastest Isle of Capri Pacing Series final ever. The fastest one, the Pompano Park track record of 149 and 4. Okay, gang, we're uh, down here in the winner's circle with some very, very happy folks here. Uh, Mr. Bernie Goldstein from the Isle of Capri Casinos. Uh, just a great event tonight, Bern, and uh, what kind of a race this was? It was fantastic. It was one of the best races I've ever seen. I, I, I'm so happy, but here is the winner right here. Okay, we're talking with uh, Peter Wren. Peter, fractions were quick on the front, 26 and 3. Did the horse break in the front of you? How rum caused you to uh, consternation from that horse breaking hot rum no not really uh, he didn't he, I don't think he bothered anybody uh, but it was one of the races I really didn't know what to do and uh, just kind of we got lucky you know well at the top of the uh, going up the backside you elected to stay in and it worked out the rest because I mean it almost looked like you got trapped in behind uh, the tiring by a length off blistering fractions but when I saw I was watching Ranger with his horse I said who is coming behind him he looked like he was the fastest one it was you yeah well you know, the only part I had to come out was going to the half because, you know, Bruce creeped up alongside me, which was good on his part, you know, smart on his part. But I had to give my horse a trip to win. In order for him to win, he needed a lot of help. He couldn't do it out first over or nothing. And uh, so we went in hoping, you know, maybe we can get a little money. If we get lucky, we can get it all. And, you know, naturally sitting in, you know, he can run with the best of them. So he, he well earned it and he raced good tonight. Well, you brought this horse along great. Uh, you laid him up a couple of weeks, put him on lace, extreme him hard. A couple of starts back, you got a really tough break when you're running over horses, had no room, that's racing luck. But tonight, you got the racing luck back, my friend. Yeah, and I'm really glad for the owners. You know, they've had some hard luck with big money and uh, corporate raider. Uh, 
we've raced in the past and just, you know, never had no luck. And, you know, just got to have a lot of luck in the business. And there were some good horses in there, and, you know, they they maybe weren't so lucky. And we were, we were a good horse, and we were lucky tonight. And, it, you know, it was good for us then. Let me get the owners in here, Dan and Art Cordomach. Guys, uh, Tom, let's talk about this guy. What a, I mean, it was just, just this horse just kept coming and coming. Well, yeah, we had a pretty good race. Uh, Pete drove him very well. Uh, it was his, it wasn't his two-year campaign when my brother came to me and he said, "Hey, he said I uh, can't be there to the race over there at Holland." He said, "Make sure that you look at this horse here." And he says, "If you do, he said, I think we should buy him." So that's how that happened. And in in this winter circle, I wish that my dad could see us right now because it's one of the greatest things that could ever happen because dad was in the horse business for 30 some years and we finally did it dad thank you well spoken this horse uh, goes a lifetime mark he's just a uh, couple of ticks off the track record uh, always a good horse always in capable hands uh, the people in michigan are great we got a good program we come down to florida they put on a great show we're coming back oh, we're glad you're here and of course let's talk to uh mr al salma here our Secretary for the Isle of Capri Casinos and Allen, uh, just a great event again and just a great horse race. Just a great race and we're pleased that so many people showed out tonight. And of course we were remiss if we didn't talk about Shane Powell who is the trainer for Mr. Rand's horses. And Shane, congratulations back to the paddock. Congratulations to everyone here. Congratulations to you guys, Peter Rand. Back upstairs to Jolt Joe.